Hello, I am Ajay Bernwal, Center Director at CDLE. CDLE is Center for Deep Learning for Electronic Manufacturing. It was founded two years ago by a partnership of Nuclear, Micronic, D2S. Today, I'm going to talk about a deep learning based tool set for mask analysis that uses a digital twin. We built three tools in the deep learning tool set for SEM analysis. The first one is automatically filter good quality SEM image, image alignment for CAD to SEM, and defect classification for VSP mask writer. However, deep learning requires huge amount of data. It meets a lot of data with all varieties so that it can learn a meaningful model. We built sem based tool set. That means the huge amount of data has to be sem images. Mask shop does incredible job to not create any error in printing. So it's extremely hard to get same images. Where do we get a large same images from? For that, we built a digital twin to generate millions of same images. As you can see in the slide, we use a CAD data where we induce geometries, patterns, and also errors and it goes through the digital twin and we have generated SEM. The idea here is to train a deep learning model on generated SEM and once the model is trained to use it for production for real SEM images. Using the digital twin, we could generate millions of SEM images including normal geometry patterns as well as defect. On the left hand side, you can see a collage of generated millions of SEM images. And right hand side, you can see some normal SEM images generated from the, from the distal twin and with error as well. We also generated some curvilinear shapes too. Before I jump into my tools from the tool set, I would like to let you know that I'm going to follow a specific pattern for my presentation. First, I will go ahead and detail about the tool, then the training data which I used, and then followed by the deep learning model, and of course, followed by the results. So let me go to my first tool from the tool set. It's automatically filtering good quality SEM images for test chip. For test chips, where through dose and through pitch patterns can go beyond the process limit of printability. In those cases, some of the features may not be printed on the mask or they may be badly printed. Same images with this kind of feature must be discarded for applications like CD extraction. This tool does exactly what is desired for the test chain. We built a tool for automatically filtering only good same images for the test chain and we wanted to do it fast. The rule-based methods, they do not do pretty good job on same images because of the varying lighting conditions, contrast, lineage roughness. And also, if you do it manually, it's going to take long time, hours of time. In fact, for uh, for our purpose, we had a set of same images having 
4002 images and to manually filter them it took four and a half hours actually that was also required for the test data which you'll see here for this model for this tool the deep learning model only required 2700 images which was acquired by customers these were good set images and for the test data we had 4200 images which were manually labeled and that's that's a test data which took four and a half hours our goal was to use deep learning so that first we can reduce the runtime for the test data to minutes instead of hours also uh, uh, to get an accuracy no less than 90 percent with a low false negative rate that means a good same image should not be rejected the deep learning model which we use is called deep autoencoder followed by a, an anomaly detection network as you can see here um, there are two networks uh, one encoder and a decoder part of the autoencoder these are two neural networks it takes a good same image and create an embedding create an embedding and after the decoder we get the constructed same image a reconstruction error is taken for good same images reconstruction error will be low and for bad same images the reconstruction errors will be high using the embedding and the reconstruction error it was further fed to an anomaly detection network which outputs a probability that a particular image same image is good or bad using that probability we could filter out the same images automatically that too with 94.5 percent accuracy and a very low false negative and on our workstations it took only minutes which has one average gpu instead of four and half hours this was pretty incredible now i will move to my second tool from the tool set which is cat to send image alignment applications which require cad and sen they need the features to be aligned on cad and sen images and as you can see on the left hand side i have an example of a cad and sen they are overlapped together and the reason you see some solid and overlap and some blurry means there are misalignment once the cad is aligned to sen by shift rotation and zoom in or zoom out in some case you see on the right hand side a completely aligned cad and sen image and you see 3d looking solid uh, impression there is no blurriness this is what we want now existing methods to do image alignment they fail to do a pretty good job especially in cross domain images such as cad and sen and that's why we built a deep learning based tool <clears throat> for the training data remember the previous tool the automatic filtering it did not require a lot of training data after all not all the deep learning requires huge amount of training data there are some exceptions however for this case it was required to have at least 700,000 sem images and where else could we get it from we cannot get from the mass shops so we did generate them using the digital twin 700,000 images for training data and 70,000 for test data and we manually aligned images for testing purpose the deep learning model for this uses convolution network and a registration network it takes a misaligned cad and sem pair and aligned cad and sem pair it goes to the network 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 learns the special transformation in the form of shift rotation and zoom 
And based on the difference, it uses a loss function to train the network. Once the network has been trained, we see pretty good results. Similar image here, uh, uh, before alignment, which has solid and blurriness, and after perfectly alignment, we have only solid, solid impression. Now, now for, for quantitative measurement, we used a score called NCC, which means normalized cross correlation. And a score of zero means complete misalignment and a score of one means well full alignment and our goal is to get the ncc score for the images very close to one in this case we get a 0.99 score which is pretty good i have another example with different patterns ncc score is close to one yet another example even another example and the last example. This was also very interesting and promising. And in fact, this, uh, this tool was used to enhance our digital twin. Now with this, I will go to my third and last tool in the tool set, which is a VSP mask writer defect classifier. VSP mask writer is very reliable machine, which runs 24 seven. Occasionally, there may be some malfunctioning, and for the mass shop, it is important to identify those errors, debug it, fix it, and put the machine operational. For this purpose, there are human experts who use SEM images to identify if there is a problem with the mask. We created a deep learning based tool which can help expert to identify the defects. Oops, sorry. Another thing I would like to mention here is that we use the first two deep learning tools to build this one. We use the filter and the image alignment for the third one. It's kind of building deep learning tool stack one on top of other. Before going to give more detail about the, the VSP Writer tool, I would like to explain the architecture of the VSP Writer system. There are principally three components, as you can see from the picture. The top has an electron gun, which emits electron beams. Then the first uh, upper portion has a shaping aperture and shaping deflector. The shaping deflector, the, the upper part, it is responsible to create shots for rectangular and triangular shapes and also determine the size of it. And the lower portion, which has another shaping aperture and deflectors, sub and main, so responsibility is to be able to print the shot on the reticle or the mask based on the desired position. If there are some problem with the electron gun, it can end to a dose error. Problem with electron gun can have uh, intention, um, sorry, intensity variation of the dose. And in this case on the right hand side, as you can see, because of the decreased dose intensity, the geometries are shrinking. Another type of error could be shape error, which happens because of the shaping deflectors. If there is some problem with the shaping deflector, the shots, the geometries of the shots, the rectangular and triangular can get distorted. In fact, you see distortion on the edges of the shape. <clears throat> the third type of error is the position error, which could be caused by subdeflector, and if there is a problem there, then the geometries, the shots will not be printed at the desired location. 
uh, there could be an error, deviation. It's called position error. Now, all three type of error, dose, shape, and position, it needs to be identified and debugged and fixed. We build a tool set to do that. However, before training the deep learning model, we required millions of SEM images and we generated it from the digital twin. We use all three types of error to the training data and normal. And for the test, we induced certain tests, uh, certain errors, and then printed it with the machine and manually labeled. The model which we use is a typical, <clears throat> typical classifier model, which is convolution network based. We tried VGG network, ResNet, and settled down on a custom ResNet. Custom ResNet uh, had uh, custom convolution layers having skip connections across layers. The model takes a reference SEM image and a defect SEM image and outputs a probability that this error belong to one of these three types of error. We saw very positive and promising results. And I'm going to show some of the examples from the results. In this case, on the left, you see a position error, a reference and defects and image for the position error. And on the right hand side, you see the probability spit out from the network, which is 99%. In the middle is the interesting thing. It is a heat map of what does the deep learning network see. It does see a, um, a red and a high intensity color map for the region spot where the error is. So the network is not only giving a high probability for the position, but it's also focusing on the spot where the error is. This gives a very good confidence on the network. Another example for the shape error, we have a high probability for shape and the network focuses on the spot where the error is. In this example, network gives almost equal probability to dose and shape error and also focuses on the right spot where the network sees the error. <clears throat> However, as the network is confused, it turns out that this kind of error is even hard to discern by human expert. There are other information needed to make good diagnosis on these errors. So with this, I would like to conclude my presentation by saying that deep learning is extremely powerful for the same analysis. The three tools for the first as filtering a good same image, the cat to same alignment and the defect classifier. It shows extremely well results and it was only possible because we could generate millions of data, not just in number, but covering different types of, this, uh, of the printing, whether uh, errors or a bad same image, it was all possible because of the digital twin. And also the digital twin used deep learning, another type of deep learning to make it. So deep learning along with the digital twin is extremely powerful for the same analysis. Thank you for listening.